Now this video doesn't really have a script to it, so if it turns out to be a train wreck, happy birthday. I guess. Hey everybody, what is up? It is Stan the Man, and no, this is not a usual Stan the Man podcast or video, okay? Now, apparently this, no, to be honest, this is something just completely out of the blue and something that I, that's that been bothering me uh, for a little bit right now. As I mentioned before during previous podcasts and videos, I am severely behind when it comes to trends and things that go on on the internet. I may as well be living underneath a fucking rock. There's the H3H3 thing, there was the Logan Paul thing, there's the Onision thing, there's the Katarino Carson thing. Now apparently, apparently there's this bastard now, and they think they're a fucking deer. I don't, that's the only context I have at this point. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here scrolling through my recommended feed. Scrolling through my recommended feed, you know, watching my usual Markiplier videos, Jacksepticeye videos, Crank Gameplay videos, Unis Honest videos. Well, usually in the corner of my eye, in the recommended feed, I always see stuff like this. Like, this YouTuber versus that YouTuber has blank, 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 blank gone too far. Okay, what will Twitch do? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Apparently, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, these things seem, to, these three platforms seem to form the corners of a proverbial Bermuda Triangle where apparently controversy and drama seems to be the goddamn norm. I tend to stay away from these types of things. I tend to avoid them like the plague or like the US seems to be avoiding scientific fact. We're not stupid. We know if we have COVID, we stay home. What I mean by this, okay, it's a big world out there. There are bigger things going on than beef between two people that don't really matter. Okay, in the grand scheme of things. Now, I'm gonna give you like a couple of examples right now. Okay, like go, let's go to YouTube right now. YouTube has apparently gone into full protect the SJWs at all fucking costs mode. Okay, that joke is from Grade A Under A, by the way. Go watch his shit. He's back. The king is fucking back. Now, what do I mean by this? I am seeing smaller channels and smaller channels getting videos taken down or being completely demonetized simply because they criticized a video of a slightly larger channel. Okay, now. Now that is, that is some reason for concern, especially for new creators out there or smaller channels who are just starting to get the ball rolling. They might do one completely human slip up, slip up and that's enough to literally get their entire YouTube career cut short. That's why I keep saying, that's why I keep telling the people, I, I'm not going to dive full force into this whole YouTube thing because YouTube doesn't seem like a stable platform to be on right now. Remember like back in the day? where nothing short of throwing a baby out a goddamn window could get you demonetized. I can't even say coronavirus anyway, anymore, all right? Apparently, you say coronavirus, people get fucking triggered. That is literally the name of the virus! Like, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to call it? The C word, fuck off! Ugh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, what do I mean by this? As I mentioned, okay, I usually tend to avoid these fucking things because drama, if it's like behind a computer screen and stuff like that, it's usually meaningless to me, all right? I come to this site just to pass the time, watch some funny videos, or have some background noise while I do some other shit, not to watch a virtual fucking cat fight. One thing you have to remember, one thing that everybody needs to remember, even the creators, is that their fan base is fucking huge. Some of them have fan bases of millions and millions and pe millions and millions of people. And apparently the new thing that's been going on is that the fan base will start attacking the sponsors of the other concerning party. That's equivalent to me calling your mom a cunt because you punched me in the face. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, can somebody explain to me how the hell does that make fucking sense? Uh, look, I, I get it. Like, everybody has the right to happiness. Everybody has the right to be heard and stuff like that. But when that right begins to infringe on the creative freedom of many individuals on this platform, okay, it starts to be a little concerning because there are some people who completely depend on YouTube as a source of income. You're literally getting rid of these people's way to put food on the table and and that's just a little bit hypocritical to me. What I've noticed that is that some of these dramas, some of these controversies, they can get really fucking ugly. They can turn real fucking bad. And what happens when the fallout 
from the, the fallout from these conflicts are gonna uh, are gonna affect people are gonna affect creators who literally had nothing to do with this who literally had nothing to do with any of this shit but it still might affect them in a negative way and that's when it starts to get concerning I remember YouTube being a place where you can literally sit down and create anything Anything that was in your mind, within reason, by the way, within reason, don't get any fucking ideas. Anything that was in your mind can suddenly be out there, okay? I grew up watching YouTube. I grew up watching Smosh, I, Fil Filthy Frank, Ray William Johnson, all those types of things. And I'm thinking, if Ray William Johnson resurfaced now with the type of content that he has, he would not survive a fucking day. Now, one thing that I also notice is like the fans, they just feel like they have to make a goddamn difference. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> Don't. I get it. You look up to these people. You do. You have the right to look up to them. Some of them might be your goddamn hero. There are bigger things going on in the world. There are bigger things to worry about than drama between two people who don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. That doesn't mean you don't have the right to say you don't have the right to say shit, but just do know that the the, the actions you take all right, they have consequences. Now imagine if millions of people partake in that action. It's just gonna end up in fucking chaos. My advice, this is just my advice, okay? If you see drama between YouTubers, even if it's YouTubers that you genuinely enjoy, fuck off, leave them alone, all right? The more you look into it, the more you, the more you look into it, the more you voice your concern. To me, you're basically just adding you're just fanning the flames. You're adding fuel to the fire. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me what you desire. Look, sometimes it's just best to kick your feet up, grab a beer, and just don't give a fuck. Anyway, guys, those are my, that's my whole two cents on the whole fucking situation. I hope you guys enjoyed. This might be a shorter video than usual, but bah. Don't, don't be, be a, 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 a